the sacred mushroom, the key to the door of eternity, the search for the sacred plant of the ancients used to send the mind to another world and into the future. Let me tell you something. I've never tried any drug in the world ever, not pot, nothing, ever. However, I am not so stupid as to not be well informed about the potentials for the mushroom. The magic mushroom, from all indication, is a sincerely important discovery that was made in the ancient and prehistoric world. This stuff works. The magic mushroom and, and, and other uh, uh, hallucinogenic drugs like that do something to the electromagnetic forces in the brain to open up your mind and open up your spirit to all kinds of profound things that you're just totally not aware of. So, while this is a hallucinogenic drug, nonetheless, this is a very important stuff here. Magic mushrooms are not to be laughed at. It is not a light thing. This stuff is very serious stuff. And that particular kind of mushroom is called a uh, Amonita muscara. The sacred mushroom in the cross, John Allegro, the, man, the third man in charge of the Dead Sea Scrolls, wrote, wrote this book. The Sacred Mushroom and the Cross, a study of the nature and origins of Christianity within the fertility cults of the ancient Near East by John Allegro. John Allegro was the number three man appointed by the State of Israel, England, and America in charge of the Dead Sea Scrolls. The top three men that were picked in the beginning were all fired because of what they said was in the Dead Sea Scrolls that was not supposed to be said. All, all three men were fired. <coughs> there is the Am Amanita Muscara. Here in the catacombs of Rome under the Vatican you will find uh, paintings in the old catacombs of Amanita Muscara being the sacred tree of knowledge of good and evil. Well, the whole concept is if you take the, 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 the mushroom it opens up your mind to all kinds of off-the-wall things. Of course you can talk to God. 